Oh, siehst du? Tatsächlich, ich bin auch noch auf... Äh Oh, siehst du? Tatsächlich, ich bin auch noch auf äh Bisschen dort. 20. Oh, siehst du? Tatsächlich, ich bin auch noch auf äh Bisschen dort. Kurz hier auf Kram. Jo. Hey man. Yeah, this is uh, basically just um, to find some bugs and shit. Let's see. Did I? Okay. Uh, wait a second. I need to reconnect.
mind. Never mind. Okay, guys, this is basically the uh, work in progress uh, safe zone. Um, like I showed before, here you have the global vault, here you have uh, dealers, like vendors. Um, yeah, we just move around a little bit. I will show some stuff. Did this game change name? No, not really. Don't think so. Wait a second, I need to pause the stream. Thanks. Yeah, obviously, um, we added some points of interest, um, but we're missing a lot of, um, yeah, like, small areas. Yeah, sure. Uh We're missing uh, small areas to loot, like uh, campsites or stuff like that, not only the main um loot points but also the the small ones <coughs> i mean for me alone that gives weird infestation survivor story vibes right like this looks like colorado from war z And I know many people complain about the movements because it looks robotic or something. Um, but yeah, I think we will change it after release. Like when we have some funding for it, we definitely will change stuff. Um, is this the PUBG map? <laughs> Not really. I will just spawn a car and we can uh, drive around a little bit. You think so? No, it's not. fix release date sadly not because um, there are still a lot of issues I want to fix first um, there is a weird bug that um, some players um, appear naked for other clients which is uh, what is kind of weird and I need to uh, re-engineering why that is happening um, It's not little bit. Your cars go flying like in Mozi. Uh, I don't think so.
Nah, it's kind of annoying because I don't know why this is happening. Um, hopefully I find a fix for, for that. But, um... Uh, it's most likely me. I mean, I have someone uh, for the map and some uh, freelancer work, like some freelancer help. But uh, yeah, overall, it's me working on the game. So that's why it takes forever, you know. We'll be able to harvest basic resources, like for instance, chop down trees, hit cars. Um, that's basically part of the of the crafting, um, yeah, of the crafting, and I'm not sure how I want to do the crafting. Basically, um, what I don't do is like uh, the normal base building you have in Rust or other games. You won't be able to like build houses or something. Um, I said it before, you will be able to build camps with barricades and stuff. Um, but I still need some ideas for crafting stuff. How you obtain uh, resources, how you... Um, what actually... or... what is it? Um, yeah, what should be possible to craft, you know? Can we sell a CXP again sound? Yeah, you can. Oh, what are things for the stream? Can't wait to jump into closed alpha. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm excited as well, l like, uh, to let you people play, but I need to be happy with the product I deliver, you know? What am I support of Kofi Dollarsen? Vielen Dank, vielen, vielen Dank. Oi! Nicer. Spawn a machete. No. Makes sense. Difficult one. Science is a little bit in the writing. But yes, I yeah, I mean, it should, it should feel good to fight other players and stuff. I'm very close to what I want to have in the game. Like, the overall feeling of PvP is very, very important for me. And I'm getting somewhere. But like I said, there are still um, yeah, a lot of bugs which are not game-breaking, but annoying. You know, it shouldn't... Of course, it will feel a little, a little bit clunky, maybe, yeah, on its release. But it shouldn't feel too clunky, if you know what I mean. And like I said, the issue that uh, other players appear naked sometimes is uh, game-breaking for me. Because just imagine you're walking uh, through the woods and you see a naked player because you think, yeah, it's a Bambi, you know? So, but it's a full geared player and you get shot from behind, so that, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh shit. Let's spawn somewhere else. Okay, where are we? Um I appreciate it and plugging in play myself here as well. Clunky. True. Yeah, I mean, still after release, you know, there is a lot of uh, work to be done. It never will be perfect. I know that. But... Um, uh, people have high expectations for the game and it's kind of pressuring me. Um, so I keep working on it, you know. Uh, how big is the map? Eight kilometers. Yeah, eight kilometers. When it's being released, there's no release date yet. Let's just drive. Yeah, yeah, of course. Also, uh, when we activate heavy snow, the landscape uh, will be actually snowy, so... Uh, that really depends on the playtesting, what the server is capable of. I need to see, so my my uh, thinking was like maybe 50 or something or 60. We need to test this, you know? Time later when you have time. Of course, I can show it on night. Second. Okay, this is. It's like this because of uh, the sky, obviously, right? If I do this, um, I want to. Yeah, and this one is also being re removed, obviously. Um, I want to make the night a little bit darker. Not too dark, but a little bit darker when it's uh, clear sky. Um, but yeah, that's the night. No loot whatsoever. So yeah, this is uh, the the small 
uh, loot spawns or loot positions, what I'm talking about. Like not only major cities or towns or something. I want to have um, many small loot areas where you can find something just walking in the woods, explore a little bit. So, is that your first game? Yes, it is. Something. No, it's not. It's a case. Okay, like shields. Um, there are barricades. Like something like this. If you mean this one. Found my first bug. Perfect. One second. You're talking about uh, the day before, right? Um, I have another opin opinion about the day before, to be honest, because I think uh, it looked very good. Like, the whole environment looked very good. Flashlight. Wind straving. Left and right. Um, I started to work on a night vision here, but it's not working right now. Like, you can't, I don't remember the key it was, F, oh no, I can't remember, but it's not working anyway right now. The flashlight is a little bit buggy. Ah, okay. Green at sixty turn. Yep. There were high expectations for like uh, the day before, but they hyped it up itself. So.
But didn't uh, the day before is coming back like as as a single player game? I think I saw something. Can. Sure. the river the river or am I stupid? No. Shit. Here is it, okay. And like I said, I would love to give you guys access to test it out, but I'm afraid that um, I'm I'm worried basically that uh, there is too much missing yet why would anyone in there had like to see players in pink fairy costumes running around I hope not maybe if you ask me nicely <laughs> now I think this is basically the only head of that kind I mean you have Stuff like boxing helmets, you have uh, construction worker helmets, you have a lot of helmets when I... Here, for example. You have a... Did I edit it? Uh, no, okay. Um, that's not in the game anymore, good to know. Um, you have masks, you know. Um, a smiley mask, for example, that's just... Some variation, you know? But if you want to... Um, want to walk around as a fairy... I probably can do this. Uh, 
in the plans for a closer album test to test it. Um, probably when I fix the bug with the with the uh, naked player and some some normal uh, bug fixing, probably. Um, Wait, no, that was wrong. I'll just click loot all. It's not gonna change shooter with any menu to run. Yeah, some uh, Asian guys already asked me if I um, will implement like weapon skins or glowing, um, glowing gear, basically like glowing t-shirts or glowing pants or stuff but um, that's not gonna happen oh I see another bug I not even have a flashlight attached anymore that's weird yeah that's weird good to know see that's that's the small stuff I'm talking about like issues like this. I want to have them fixed before I go into uh, close testing. take a look at the military base but the military base is not populated right now yeah and some optimization like I play the game on 60 70 frames per second but yeah I need to reduce the size of some textures like some textures are still 4k even that's not necessary for small small meshes, small objects. Alright, and use you work closely to develop the disavowal. I like to think that I speak for much when I say there's a lot of players who don't want that, especially like grumpy thoughts like me. Uh, it's not gonna happen, like I said. So I won't bring stuff like glowing, shiny gear or clothing or stuff like that. That's not gonna happen. I mean, the game is heavily inspired by um, by infestation, not New Z, but the old War Z infestation. Clan. Clown helmet. Okay, I need to delete that from the loot table. Some more. What should I show off? Books. Okay, okay, okay. 
sure. Inspired but yet you don't have to do most iconic things about the game. Instant shield dropping and global inventory on the chain. Uh we have a global inventory. We also have a safe zone. The only thing I won't do is like uh, the shield dropping. I'm talking about like the whole environment. I don't know why, but I really liked Colorado from uh, the War Z. That's why my map is also called Colorado. Um yeah, but not every game me mechanic of uh, the Wazi uh, is like implemented in my game. I can't enter. Here. America! Some more of the meal stuff, like I was sitting on top of cars, hitting zombies in the head. <laughs> um. You want to see the melee combat or what? That's fine, I was just running. Just write the stream. See, this is a place where I didn't work, so. Went to bank as a drone service and not just. And it's not global. Um, yeah, I need to change the uh, save solution basically. For now, it's uh, server-based. Global inventory, yeah. Your personal vault, sh should I call it like that? is working on the game um, basically three one is a freelancer me and a friend of mine who works a little bit on the map um, I also do map works but um, the most of the stuff you see here is uh, done by him like by T-Bone from the from the discord By the way, what we thought of, um, like you see the tunnel dot, um, we went, we want to have like some dungeon like places. Yeah, like raid, raid kind. Um, are you familiar with a game called Infestation Rumors after my Shattered Skies? Yeah, of course. That was basically the reason why I started to work on a on a game. Um, first of all, Reborn was an infestation emulator. Like it started as a infestation emulator. And yeah, I don't know if you can hear it, guys.
Yeah. This, for example, will be a place, like this will be a, a raid, basically, with uh, different enemy types and um, military loot, obviously. Also, that is where you go. I was just about to say that I see where you go going. Yeah. Yeah. These are places where you shouldn't go alone. Like, that's the idea behind it. That this is something where you should form a group and go together. Can only dream of owning it. Uh, it probably will be sniper rifles. Sniper rif uh, rifles will be rare. But other than that, dreaming of owning it. Hmm. Yes, yeah, like I said, snipers will be rare. Use. You won't be able to spam uh, shields. Yeah, but do you have a uh, other idea? What should be rare? You know, like different clothing parts or other weapons. Maybe some automatic shotgun or st stuff like that. Something. What is very powerful. Other than that, I don't really know what we could make rare. First of all, I need to get the night vision working, you know. Um, since Reborn started with Unreal Engine 4, we already had night vision implemented and it worked fine. But after the migration to Unreal Engine 5, I don't know what, maybe something is different now or so, but the night vision isn't, is not working anymore. So I need to have a look. Could be equal rare and powerful as the snipers. Yeah, I need to see, you know, like tweaking the the loot table is something I do on the end. Like probably after the game testing so I can calculate, okay, out of 100 players they found this the most, this is the most rare, you know. rare item yeah if I get it to work and yeah at some point I will for sure night vision is some military stuff so it will be a military item and military items will only be uh, fundable at like military outposts or yeah what I showed you the cave like the, the tunnel and we have some military stuff already, like uh, the heavy helmet, for example. Give some PUBG vibes. Or the heavy armor. This one. Or probably just a ghillie suit, no? Uh, 
Very nice to combine with a smiley mask, by the way. Any other vehicle variations? Yeah, there are two vehicles right now. Um, this one and this one. Basically, these are just test vehicles, so I didn't create new ones as well, but I think about to like have armored vehicles as well, not OP, um, so you can't destroy it, but with a little bit more armor. So yeah, stuff like this. I'm German, yes. Yes, yeah, they will. The only thing um, not working right now is like um, if you collide with something, the car won't damage or like won't get damage. You can overrun zombies, you can overrun players, um, the car can be shot at, like destroyed. But if you like kissing a tree right now, see it. Ha you get no damage. So this is something I still need to do. Um, but overall, yeah, the, the vehicles work fine. They work in multiplayer. Everything is uh, replicated, so everything works pretty well. Check a bike and there, easy transport. <laughs> yeah, I thought about a quad, maybe. Yeah, no sort of hits. Obviously. Just the only stuff left on, on cars, like it has passenger seats. Um, everything works well. Yeah, yeah this, this game will be on Steam. I mean, it is already on Steam. You can wishlist it. Oh, we can go in a town if you want to. Like that. You mean like apartments in... You mean normal living houses? Or do you mean like city buildings with multiple... Um, what is it in English? Um, uh, with with different floors or like five story floors. <laughs> Um, there will be. Like, this is only the first alpha phase, what you see right now. We have this village, we have the supermarket and the fast food building, we have the safe zone, we have the um, the farm, we have the military base, we have a gasoline station and a police station, um, stuff like that. And there will be, will be a bigger city, not New York-like or something, because it won't match the, the whole environment, you know. But... Um, there will be a city with, yeah, buildings and multiple floors and... That's the big one. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit.
Light. Like this, maybe. Let's just put this on. Like the sound of the K. Of place, I don't like the size. I think it might be the model it gives left for that or back blood vibes low, but I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of these small things will change you. <laughs> yeah, basically, that was my first try to have like a special zombie, you know. That and yeah, I myself calling it a tank, you know. So even the the uh, <laughs> the zombie itself is, is called a tank, yeah, it was. Inspired by um, <laughs> Left 4 Dead. There are two types of special zombies. Basically this one, it hits harder and has more HP. And then there is a smaller one, which is a lot of faster, hits faster, but has uh, less HP. Yeah. Me tougher, come here. a bit out of place with the pants. Let's just equip this one. Snow pants. Yeah, what the new game Sergio is working on by the way? You mean uh project project lead or something, right? That's so well with the full experience. Yeah, project lead. I saw it in a, in a Big Fry project. Yeah, it's basically a Tarkov style game, like an extraction shooter. I mean, it looks it looks good, right? Like the graphic and all, and the environment, it looks good. But yeah. Uh, project lead. It's called project lead. But no EE -E or three instead of E. Yeah, exactly. It looks stunning, but the gameplay just not for me. I don't like uh, ex extraction shooter. Because for me, there's no meaning to go in, you know? Like in an open world survival game, you always can loot and you can save it and you are still in this world, you know? But in an extraction shooter, it's just a level, basically. That's why I don't like Tarkov. Like, I played it, yeah, but... Just to go in a raid and be back in the main menu, just to look at your inventory is no motivation for me to play this game, basically.
Last loot. Last check, then I go back in the safe zone. Oh shit. Uh, 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 fuck. I need to cheat. Um, what was it called? Did you ever play before turned into yes, it became it was an amazing release. Uh you mean just survive? Yeah, I actually pre-ordered H1Z1 um where it came out and I played it before um Battle Royale was an own game basically. Do I have bandages? Yes, I have. Yeah, I was, I was playing, um, I still can't, oh, by the way, I don't know if you got, if I already told you, um, about this skill here, maximum weight, um, backpacks, Am I stupid? I forgot what I want to say. Never mind. I'm following the book for some, and it seems to me that it's progressing well. What's new? I don't know. On, like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> What's new? And if about the price of the game, yet. Will be around 10 ish, basically. Like it will be maybe 12.99. That's it. Not more. Yeah. Yeah, but it's my first project, like, it's a learning by doing process, you know? I won't charge people for, for a learning by doing process. Uh, 20 is too much because people will like when I go on Steam and I see like an indie title right um, I buy stuff more often when I see it's only like 10 or 12 and not 19.99 because then I will wait plus I I think I will most likely more refund the game what is 20 euros instead of like 12 or 10 euros, you know? Exactly. And Terraria is a good game. People will also expect more with a larger price tag, obviously.
that's why I won't make it won't make it expensive because it's a learning by doing experience. Um, when people have fun with it, that's good for me and good for you. Um, but that's it. There won't be like a price increase or something later. It will always be that price. Because I growing in my knowledge about game development and um, you guys supporting me by giving me like ideas and uh, constructive criticism and stuff like that. So that's all that matters. And my vision with Reborn was or from the beginning was um, to create like infestation two basically but better without microtransactions and just having fun nothing hardcore like at the moment for me there is no um where am i okay um for me there is no uh, survival game i really enjoy right now like DayZ is too hardcore for me basically i just wandering like five kilometers without finding food or water and when I find a weapon or something then I'm dying because of thirst or hunger or something that's just boring for me so this this here of course it's also a walking simulator right like all survival games are but this is a little bit more casual so Yeah, I mean, I played Scum as well, and I liked it, but it is too much DayZ for me. Like, Infestation was the perfect game. Okay, it was trash, right? It really was, and the develo uh, developer as well, like, they was greedy as fuck. But the game was itself was fun. Yeah. Yeah, my hope was um, like that side. I played that side for a little while, like where it came out. But something was not right with that game, like for me. That district, I don't know that district. It has. But I think it died really quick, right? It has it has a hype going on on the beginning. But um save us a bit of it's a bit too hardcore. What I can remember is that the NPCs, like the the bandit AI, was kinda kinda overpowered. Like they're using an aimbot or something. Like you saw one, he saw you, and you was dead instantly. Yeah, I mean, I give it, I give the time, like you say, well, like you, you already said, it has potential, and it still has after that time. That said, it, uh, it in itself is a good game. What's your PC speaking? Does it run on lower PCs? Um, if you can tell me what. Is a low PC for you? Like, what specs? I have an 2070 with an AMD Risen 5, 3600. And I have like constantly 
60 FPS, but I need to say the game isn't optimized yet. Like textures and stuff, many textures are like 16K or 8K or 4K. Not many are 16K or 8K, but this also have an impact on, on the performance. Um, when I'm done with, with optimizing, it will run a lot smoother as well. But optimizing, uh, optimization is, is the last step for me before um, releasing the game. Not even, not even alpha or closed alpha testing. Um, I'm talking about the early access release on Steam. Let run. No, I don't think so. You can give me your graphics card, dude. Okay, but I think that was it for now. Um, I hoped, I hoped, I hope uh, you liked what you saw. Sorry for my bad English. Um, and if you guys liked it, uh, would love to stream more to to show off things and. Yeah. No problem. It was a pleasure. No problem, no problem, no problem. Have a good one.